This is applying the um, date number to the Cheshire Model Railway Club exhibition signs. Next year is going to be the 3rd of March. Now, I have um, rout routed out a little recess, well quite a big recess, for these metal and rubber clad bits of signs and they're black on the edge in the middle and aluminium on the outside with white paint part of it. I'll put on the new date so that it can easily be removed next year without pulling off the paint from the wooden main sign and replaced with quite ease. So that goes in the slot. Recess, pocket, call it what you want. Like that. They are numbered because the holes. This is board number two, and that is plaque number two, and that's the top, so that goes that way around. So the holes are guaranteed to line up every time and not get mixed up between the three signs. Now, yeah. brass screws, they've already been pre drilled and with some steel ones in there to make the holes, otherwise, the brass will just snap off. They're not very strong, but the brass ones won't rust like steel ones will. And you put them in one at a time with a bit of proper furniture polish. This is good old fashioned mansion polish. God knows how old that is. It must be about 30 years old. From Jarman's in Bobbingdon. £1.45 that says. Yeah, amazing that. What might be £10 a day if they even still make it, I'm not sure. Just put a little tiny bit of the polish on the end, just like that. Where is it? Where is it? Where are we? There you are. And that just lubricates the end and makes it go in so it doesn't bind. And there's two more. Tiny little bit on the end, don't need much. Sure the holes are straight. Last one. Okay. Right, and get the good old screwdriver, which is a good fit. Long and slim. Make sure it's nice and square. At the end. Because it'll just what's known as cam out. And hopefully it won't. It should go straight in. A bit of luck better because I'm moving it. It's not, it doesn't help doing it one-handed with a camera in the other. I'm not putting them all the way in yet. I'll make sure they're, they're lined up right. That helps. Bad fitting screwdriver that would have slipped out by now, especially in brass, which is soft. And just very carefully, come backwards and forwards like that if you're not too short. That eases its way in, stops it getting tight. That should centre up nicely. I'm not sure about this one over here. Hopefully, it's alright. Get in there. Out a bit in a minute, just push it over. <laughs> Don't want things slipping off of the. I'll just tighten it up and hope for the best. Okay, I'll centre up. Yeah, there you go. Centering all right. Not tightening them all yet, just go round one at a time in a pattern. So it gives it some shuffle room. Do it tight, just nip it up, no more. It's not probably power, just stops it falling off. And clamp it enough to keep the weather out behind. There we go. There it is. 
finish well apart from that little bit over there where the black needs to be touched up with a bit of Indian ink that should be it zoom out up here I don't know if you can see it or not there we go done Right, so we've got the um, the numbers, it's the 5th of the month, so we just put five, uh, three signs, so one for each sign, and what I do, to cut them out, to get the right font and the right size, is to do them on Word, as you probably see in the last photograph, and then put it on some sticky back vinyl, which is waterproof. And then once it's dried on there, stick that on there with some spray mount. Preferably non-permanent, non but I've only got permanent, but a bit of terps gets it off. Stick it on there, and then on the workbench, or we'll cut, cut round them with a scalpel, or modelling knife. So, that's what I'm going to do now. This is very old blue. I hope it's alright. I don't know what you can see. Let's just check it works. Mm, not the best, is it? But it's good enough for a temporary thing. I think. Is that coming out? Mm, there it goes. I don't need much, just enough to hold it in place. Come on. Let's get, oh, throw this away, I think. Get another one. This is years old. There you go. That'll probably do. <coughs> Put that over there then. Put this down. Oh, it's doing shot. Here we are. Because I don't know the camera's above my head. I don't know what you can see. <laughs> I'm not bald. If you look at the top of my head, you can see that much. Right. Right. Stick that on there. And then, however long it takes to dry, it's all over your hands. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Just leave it. So, there it is. A little oh, sticky hands now, <laughs> but Terp's a good one, or oh, some kind of spirit anyway. So leave that to dry. The next bit I'll be cutting it out on the workbench. And well, the paper numbers are hopefully adhered to the red vinyl enough that they don't shift when I'm cutting them out. I'm about to find out. I don't really want them going rock hard anyway. Because I've got to peel the paper off once they're cut out. I won't be doing the whole lot cutting it out though. So I do the the top there first. That's a nice simple uh, straight across. Hope this blade's sharp enough. I don't slip and cut my fingers off. That do it. No, it was. That's amazingly tough. It cut through the vinyl. Oh, it's cut through the vinyl anyway. That's enough. Because <clears throat> we, it doesn't matter if we not cut through the complete thing. So, across here, like that. I'm gonna do this one. The same. Basically, you're batch cutting out. Don't cut individual numbers out. It's much harder to pin them down. <clears throat> Press down nice and hard. Oh, it's slipping. Oh, second cut does it all right, doesn't it? There you go. Yeah. I know, I'll do these straight bits in these directions first. I'll see where I'm cutting to. If I don't quite make it when I've finished with this 
flat chisel blade you can just push down into the corners to get those little missing bits out probably is best to do it this way around isn't it so i can see where the corners are So I want to see where the corners are, don't I? So do it this way around. Crossover to so make sure it gets into the corner. Okay, cross over the, the previous cuts. See, <clears throat> this is basic school kid stuff, isn't it? Really doing this. So, and got some more straight bits here. That's actually straight across there. We can make it straight. So. Get yourself and go and cut that one by mistake. <laughs> uh, now, now the tricky bit. <clears throat> There's not much you can do with this except as the outside bits. All right, you can rotate it around while you're doing it. I'm going to sharpen this blade for this using my bit of garnet garnet paper. It's not emery, it's the wrong colour for emery. I'll just draw the knife backwards like that. And the other way. But of course at the end of the day it's only that tiny little end bit that's doing the cutting, isn't it, when you do this. Uh, right, so I'll do the middle one, it's easy to hold for the video. And these glasses aren't the best glasses for this. They're close up glasses, but the tripod's getting in the way. Bit by bit, press down, work your way around, bit by bit. You can buy, I suppose, numbers already cut, but they're not necessarily going to be the right font or the right height to suit the signage you want. Our signs are actually very old, and we don't know where the text came from, so can't buy it anymore. It's probably, oops, I want that white bit there. Not so easy this way, maybe I should do it this way around. I don't know, is it improving or not? I can angle the blade and I can I can see the edge. Yeah, that's more accurate, doing it this way around. Whatever suits you, I suppose. The dexterity. Right, 
So that one number in the middle, I'll leave the others because I'm not wasting video on doing them all. That should come out, shouldn't it? Should do. If not, there you can see the glue, see? It's coming off. But there's not much, is there? See? It's not too bad. It'll leave lumps, but that's another problem. Uh, a, bit of, a bit of spirit will take that off and clean it off. There you go. Well, that would come off all right anyway. But what about this? Can I get that number off of there? That bit's come off in there. So now you can basically do it freehand to find where it's stuck on. Go over that bit like that. Try and get in that corner. Yeah. Can you let it go through that last little bit? Coming away, yeah, it's coming away. Well, <coughs> mm, coming up there, won't it? So once there's a groove already in there, the knife will follow it like a railway track. I think this is for a railway exhibition. How the video goes for any exhibition sign, doesn't it? it? Doesn't matter. It's just a way of saving money and having to buy a whole load of expensive um, numbers. So I just want one or two. In my case, three. Using computers so I will get the right font and the right height. It's not too difficult. Hmm. That coming apart? It's sticking to me hand everywhere. Yeah, a bit there, I guess. Uh, not done it. Oh, oh. Yeah, I still need that one. I thought we did that one. Yeah, I can feel it cutting through. I can hear it. That's better. Three oh. oh, It's a bit of paper. It doesn't matter. So there it is. Yeah, oh, that looks bright red in the viewfinder, doesn't it, compared with that black. So, I'm going to go and give it a quick wipe with some spirit. Alright, so, a bit of white spirit. On a cloth. Or kitchen towel in this instance. Get that out of the way. Just wipe that carefully. Get the goop go glue off, don't want it there. Yeah, it's sticking to my hand, see where it there's glue there. And hopefully it shouldn't stick anymore, see? Not much anyway. There we go. I don't even know it's permanent adhesive, it's not really when you do it quick enough, see? Put my finger down. No longer sticking, see? Good, excellent. And the backing still in place. So, ready to be applied to a sign when I get to I'll, I'll cut out the other ones, but you don't need to see me do that. So, put it in there, there you go. Two more to do. Right, I'm in my workshop now with the real sign, and this is a special plate. I put on with a hardened aluminium or plastic covered surface um, and, that, and that was the last last exhibition I think it was a 2020 was it 21 something like that I don't know obviously a bit before the lock just before the lockdown by a few weeks or even a week and now that number's got to come off but I don't want to rip it off because you can actually retrieve these and if you've got like those uh, white Kit kit old fashioned kitchen cabinets like I have in my garage, you can stick them on there for another use for next time a, a month or a seven comes up every few years. And I've just tried with my fingernail and that feels quite hard. It's a new number, it'll go in its place. So I'm going to try 
And this little heat gun thing I've got, hobby hobby heat gun, hobby craft heat gun actually it is. There you, are. you can see. <coughs> Uh, other ones are available so I'm going to heat that up just to check it's not too hot and shrivel it so that soften it up a bit the whole guy this this thing here rather we used to just attach it to that there's a, a number there you see but we always have our, our exhibitions at those those times 10 to 4 a.m. so I can stay there if you cut, pull them off they wreck the paint and the varnish over the top of them so this is a temporary one. I'll just do this gently. Let's see if it makes any difference whatsoever. I don't know. If not, it'll get wrecked. Never mind. I've no idea how hot this thing gets, I don't want to touch the paint. Right, let's leave it there. Leave it there, it won't do any harm, nice and chrome. Hopefully. Somewhere like that. Right, <clears throat> I can use I suppose is my chisel blade knife, just to get underneath it. Let's see if that works. Oh, my head's not in the way. As you saw earlier, cutting these things out is a bit of a pain. Oh, that's all working, isn't it? Get it going. Start at the other end. You don't want to scratch the base, the, the white bit is on, you can help it. You want to get a bit on the corner large enough you can get, your, get hold of it properly. So your fingers are stuck on this corner as well. These chisel modelling knives are, I find them far more use than the normal ones, especially if you're getting things off of sprues on your modelling and things. Right, so we can ease that away. Get that properly. Be careful we don't rip into that corner, so I'll stop there and come from this direction. You see that? No. Don't want to rip that corner. Don't know what you saw then. Leaning over my head in the way. All right, should just carefully. Don't pull too quickly. Just stretch it. Look at that. It's come as clean as a whistle. There's no residue. You can't really see in the light, but I can see there's no residue there whatsoever. Right. There we go. So now we've got to get the new number off. Well, the hardest part could often be just getting it going, getting your fingernail down there. So again, I'm going to use that same knife actually. I've got my close-up glasses on. I don't know if you can focus at that range or not. It looks all right. It's always the hardest part with these self adhesive anything. So there we go. <coughs> Carefully pull it off. upside down <laughs> deliberately because the right way up for you is upside down for me yeah not sure gently that angle back a bit isn't it that is like that oh, lift it up don't let that end stick and bubble in the middle yeah. that looks reasonably parallel there but that is at a slight angle there that is parallel with the edge there and keep that end up and follow it round. Can you see? Follow it round like that. There we go. Right, now using a paper tissue. I can see lots of air bubbles there. Something that won't harm it. Push it down hard. No dirt and that getting underneath it. Because it stands outside for two weeks approximately. 
and three different roads in in Chesham. There we go. That was quite successful. And no varnishing, no repainting, and the sign with all my work the other last time I repaired it is actually in good nick, isn't it? Considering it's been out in the rain in the in February or what have you. I don't know how old the original sign is, it could be 20 years old, but I know. Anyway, there we go. That worked a treat. Just as I anticipated. Haha. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching.